Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Power Rangers review for you. This is a really interesting pack here. So this is technically a part of the Power Rangers Beast Morphers toy line, but this is a, a set of Dino Power Rangers because of the Dino team up that just recently happened in Beast Morphers. So we have the Dino Thunder Blue Ranger, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, and the Dino Charge Pink Ranger. So this is actually kind of a cool set to do. Uh, and, you know, they obviously representing all three different seasons uh, from that, that were in this team up here. So you do see the sticker as seen in Beast Morphers. You got the appropriate season logos as well. Um, interestingly enough, I, I don't know what, you know, made them decide which characters to include. Obviously, Mighty Morphin Red, uh, Austin St. John, who plays Jason, was he returned in the show. Whereas the other two were not. I, I think it was confirmed by Brennan Mejia, who plays Tyler Dino Charge Red, that um, Camille, uh, who is Shelby in Dino Charge Pink, uh, did the voice. She did not return, actually, obviously, it, it, for the team up, but she did the voice of her character. But um, we did not get the voice of Ethan for Dino Thunder Blue here. Uh, so interesting choices. Um, I mean, these are both like Triceratops Rangers, but this is a T-Rex Ranger, so it's not like that's the theme. I I don't know, you know, what, what it was. I, I Honestly, what I'm assuming is, you know, they, they wanted to have uh, at least one female ranger, and so whether it's Dino Thunder Yellow or Dino Charge Pink, I guess they decided to go with Dino Charge Pink because maybe uh, it's just, I don't know, more uh, kids might remember her more, uh, you know, I guess. And then they're like, well, then we want a different color. We don't want another female ranger, even though there's nothing wrong with that. But then they decided to just do blue because they already have a red ranger, and I don't know. I'm just guessing. But either way, I guess it's kind of a neat thing to have. Unfortunately, this is one of those scenarios where if you like to collect teams, you're not going to get it because unless they release, you know, more figures in this scale in the future, uh, this is all that we have. But let's just jump right into it, right? So obviously you can see their signature weapons, which we'll, which we'll take a look at. Uh, and then the back shows you the the Rangers right there. Imagine an epic team up between Power Rangers from different teams. Uh, well, I mean, you don't have to imagine it. Uh, it's as seen in Beast Morphers. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I am definitely curious to see how these figures actually are. So let's just jump right in and take a look. All right, here they are out of the packaging. So let's jump right in. Let's start with Mighty Morphin Red uh, right in the middle here. Uh, and so he does come with the Power Sword and Power Blaster right here. Um, and as far as, you know, paint and, and uh, detail on them, eh, pretty decent standard for what you would expect for these figures. You know, obviously just the red and, and white. Uh, this part here is actually not too bad. I, I think the the power coin has actually done really well. Um, you know, if you zoom in, uh, good amount of detail for, for a figure of this scale. Um, yeah, pretty pretty solid overall for, for what it is. Um, here's the, the Red Ranger. Let's just kind of take an up close look at the the detail there. You can see the T-Rex coin is pretty good. There's no like black markers around the Power Morpher or anything like that. So it is, you know, missing some paint there. Um, which is, eh, you know, uh, it's uh, this type of, of, of scale you, that's going to happen. Um, otherwise, you know, you got the, the diamonds there, the here, everything else about the Ranger looks pretty solid. And then the helmet is right here. And I got to say, um, well, unfortunately, mine has a little bit of, you know, quality control issues with stuff bleeding onto the mouthpiece there, but that's just my figure. So quality control issues aside, it's actually a pretty solid looking helmet as well. And that's one thing that, the thing about Mighty Morphin Red, one of my all time favorite Power Ranger designs, love it so much. Um, the helmet always seems to be a challenge for, for toy makers, you know? And I'll bring in the Lightning Collection version to compare, the Lightning Collection one is not is not good. Um, it, it's just not. And so I think this basic figure actually has a better helmet sculpt than the Lightning Collection figure. And I think the reason is the Lightning Collection figure is kind of, it looks more like smushed in, you know, you see that? 
So uh, you can see how this is kind of a, a wider, rounder helmet, and I think that's the the biggest issue right there. Um, so for that alone, this is awesome. I, I love Mighty Morphin Red, so this is great to have a figure like that. Now I wonder, I actually didn't even try this yet, but I wonder if the helmet can pop off easily enough. I don't want to break it either. Uh, I don't know. I suppose you could maybe make something work if you wanted to try and swap the helmet onto the other one. I don't think it's, it's not meant to come off. So I might be breaking something if I, if I try, but, but that would be a great combination to, to take this lightning collection figure and, uh, you know, swap out the helmets. So for comparison, you can see, like, you can already see the paint differences, like on the, the power sword, on the, the morpher as well. Um, but I mean, it's not a, the basic figure is not a bad figure at all. Um, again, price point matters. You know, the, this figure uh, is roughly going to be like, what, twice the cost maybe or something? I, I forget how much this team-up pack is. Um, but yeah, so overall pretty solid looking figure. As far as articulation goes, so, you know, the helmet does rotate um, all the way around. The arms will rotate and move upwards. Um, and then this entire half of the arm rotates. There is an elbow joint as well. Um, the upper body does not move at all. The legs move quite a bit um, upwards and kicks forward. Um, you do have a joint right there at the knee and this entire bottom part of the leg can rotate as well. Uh, and that's it, the boot and everything is all one solid piece. This is gonna be very much in line with your other Beast Morphers uh, figures. And so, you know, if I bring in Beast Morphers Red, you'll see that this is in the same scale. This is, this is that same um, scale as the Beast Morphers figure, same type of articulation as well. So if you like the articulation on the Beast Morphers figures, you like the detail, this fits just right in. So um, that's kind of cool. I like that, you know, they're keeping things in line. Obviously, I guess this is meant to be a part of the Beast Morphers toy line given the team up, so that certainly makes sense. But there you go. Um, so that is the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. So let's bring in Dino Thunder Blue as the next season chronologically for the dino seasons, I guess. Um, and he has his, and I forget the names of these, is I think this is the Thunder Max Saber, Thunder Max Blaster, I think. Uh, I might be wrong on that, I might be referring to something else, but, uh, overall, yeah, you know, again, it's not gonna have all of the paint there, but it's got the, the basics that you need to, to identify these, these weapons, and so it works. The one thing I will say is this one is very fragile, um, and so the top half of it is about to even pop off just from literally one time of me putting the blaster in the hand. So just be careful with some of the plastic. Some of it is really tight, like in the hand, so you don't want to force it too much because you might end up breaking the blaster. Uh, so just be careful about that. Um, overall, though, I mean, the figure looks really, really nice. Uh, again, I think they did a good job just like with Mighty Morphin Red, like they've captured the the look of the character really well. The proportions, you know, seem seem really good as well. Um, nicely done helmet right there. Um, you know, this piece looks nice and shiny, which is cool. Um, yeah, overall. Really, really nice. I should mention, uh, I forgot to say this with Mighty Morphin Red as well, there's no holsters or anything for the blasters um, or, or swords, so so you can't you can't store them anywhere. So that is one um, downside to, to the figures, so just keep that in mind. But there you go, overall pretty solid. Um, same articulation, so I'm not gonna jump through all that again. Um, oh, I guess I can show you the, the morpher as well on the on the arm. I guess it's supposed to be like this. So not too bad. Yeah, I, I like that. Like, if you're gonna go with a color, at least you make it blue to kind of match the suit rather than like, I don't know, black or, or white. I feel like that would stand out a bit more. So I, I think I think the blue kind of works here. So yeah, there you go. All right, so that brings us to, last but not least, the Dino Charge Pink Ranger, the most recent Dino team. Uh, until Dino Fury comes out next year. And so here is the Dino Charge Pink Ranger. Um, again, at a glance, you can see like it's got the basic 
shape and form of the of the Ranger. I feel like there's little bits of paint missing, little bits of detail. Like for example, I don't they have the little Dino Charge logo on the chest uh, somewhere as well? I think that's missing. Uh, there might be something, a tiny little bit of paint on the helmet, possibly. It just seems like there's a lot of black there. So I think there's something slightly missing, maybe right above it, or, you know. But the overall look and feel, like, this is definitely Dino Charge Pink, right? Um, so there's that. Uh, so let's take a look at the accessories first. So here is the uh, Dino Charge Morpher right here. And again, for the bit of paint that they did include, uh, it's good enough because, you know, you have the black at the top for contrast and then the little black lines there to denote the spinning part of it. So, you know, it works, right? It, it certainly works. A uh, good amount of, you know, detail in the mold to at least tell you for sure what it is. And then again here, the, the sword looks looks pretty solid as well for, for what it is. Just two basic colors, but, you know, not too bad. Uh, the Dinocon uh, is right there as well. Looks pretty good. Um, there's that. There's no... I feel like there, there's a... The inside part of the shoulder blade, that little indent there, is supposed to be colored as well. So that's, you know, one thing that's that's missing. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's going to be missing some paint. But overall, you know, it's, it's not too bad. I think out of the three of these, this one probably is... Uh, the one that suffers the most from the lack of paint, at least at a glance, from what I remember. Um... But it's still not bad. So there it is. Uh, as far as articulation, it's all going to be pretty much in line with what you have with the Beast Morphers figures, as you can see. Even down to the, the skirt is going to be the same material and everything. So uh, same articulation as the, the, the female Beast Morphers figures. Or I guess, really, Beast Morphers Yellow. There's only one, one female ranger in Beast Morphers. Uh, but real quick, you know, just to kind of go through it. So the head does um, uh, rotate a little bit. The problem is, uh, well, one, it is a little stiff because it is tiny, so actually it doesn't rotate that much. But then also the shoulder blade right there, or the shoulder piece would, would kind of get in the way. Uh, the arm does rotate, moves upwards. Uh, the bottom half of the arm rotates. Elbow joint right there. And then, you know, leg movement right there. Joint. Rotation, there you go. Pretty solid stuff. So overall, um, pretty cool pack to have. I think this is something where uh, if you like the scale of the Beast Morphers figures, you know, and you want to have a couple other teams in, in that scale, or if you, if you want to kind of recreate your own little team up of sorts with these Rangers, you have that ability. I think, you know, for someone like myself, I think, uh, well, one, just to collect and have, uh, but I think if, if any of these rangers are some of your favorites, then these are pretty solid representations overall, um, at least for me, especially uh, Mighty Morphin Red. Um, I think, you know, aside from the, the some paint missing and that kind of stuff, like the overall look and feel of the ranger is, is really good, and so I, I, I think for that, it was worth it for me, so... Yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think of these figures, if you're going to pick up this this pack. I I believe this was found in, like, Target, like, scanners and stuff, but I think I ordered this on... Oh my gosh, was it on Amazon, or where was it? Or was it on Target's website? I honestly don't remember. Um, but it's on one of those things. Target, Amazon, or Walmart. It's, it's just pretty much any one of those, like, that. those are really the main places to buy the <laughs> some of the action figures. So, just check there, and... Uh, you know, keep an eye out for this Dino Team-Up pack if you are interested. Uh, so that is honestly, I believe, I, I might be wrong, but as of now, I think that wraps it up for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. I, I think we're expected to get Dino Fury toys later in the year. I don't know when I will be reviewing them. I will be getting some of the stuff, like the action figures at least. I, I, I plan to do that. However, expect a delay, okay? I'm letting you all know in advance my review will probably be delayed um, just because of the fact that we have a baby coming at the end of the month and uh, unless I find the figures before then, that's going to take priority. So keep that in mind. But I will definitely review them you know, soon once I can get it, once I can uh, get some time to do that. So keep an eye out for it. We'll have another Dino team to add to the mix. And if Dino Fury is keeping the same scale, uh, then, you know, it'll kind of look cool to have them added into this sort of Dino 
team up of sorts. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Anyways, make sure you subscribe because I do have other Lightning Collection reviews and more on the way. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.